<laughs> Let's go! Let's go! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another special edition of D313 XP Lions Edition. This is your boy DC Wood. We got Nomus J in the building. Nomus, man, what's going on with you, man? How you feeling? You you muted, man. You muted. There we go. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clear. I'm clear. I'm clear. I'm clear. Let's scream. Let's go, man. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Man, what a victory. What a victory today, man. Woo! What a victory. It wasn't easy. Yeah, yeah we It's a good Atlanta Falcons team. Yeah. A good offensively. They slowed. We slowed them down today. Yeah. We slowed them down. We slowed down. That's, I think that's an understatement. I, I feel like the defense just went out and dominated today. Yeah. I think that was domination on one side of the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. Absolutely. Man, no, miss. We got to talk about, man. We got to talk about this game, man. Um, yeah. Lions pulled out the victory, uh, 20 uh, the six. Hell, Atlanta. Yeah. Got the two field goals with no touchdowns today, uh, which Atlanta had no opportunity to score rushing. touchdowns. No 100 yard rushings. Kyle Pitts didn't get off today, which we was worried Drake about. Drake London didn't get off. You know, uh, John, New Smith had his, John New Smith had his moments today. He had his moments. But, yeah. you know, Lions took you. Lions had seven sacks in the game, man. The defense Ooh. had seven sacks. And with the uh, with the fumble at the end and the recovery by uh, Aiden Hutchinson, man. So, no, it's man. Tell me, man, the feel of the game, man. Come on, man. Tell the world, man. Uh, I, you know what? I am personally shocked. You know, we, there was a lot of hype coming out of that two first two games for Atlanta, man. But that running back, and there was a lot of film that showed that he was, you know, creating his own runs and. You know, uh, the idea was that we was got to slow him down and, and make sure the pass don't eat us up. And because they offensive line looked like they was putting in work, especially on run blocking. But I don't know, man. I guess just their first road trip. These, these two young teams, that's their first road trip. You know, you come in the loud ass four field, and you know you ran into a defense that's just had the you know the taste snapped out their mouth a little bit last week. And they're a little bit pissed off. We already injured. You know, we was expecting a whole different game. You know, I still, we ball said last week, we thought we was going to win this game no matter what. But the matter of where they won, I think that's what the part we weren't expecting. I, I don't think we was all expecting a 14-point a, 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 a kind of beat out. It really should have been more than that. Because, well, you know, the offense gave us some struggles uh, today. You know, you had some pressure at times. Uh, injuries go again with the offense line. Matt Nelson going down. You like, know, Jared Goff did taste some hits today. Uh, he also has the time to put the ball better. He had a turnover. You know, Lions still kind of showing sloppy football offensively right now. Uh, the play calling got to get better. Jameer Gibbs had his rookie moments. But at the same time, you know, like I said, the defense to go out there and just get all the sacks, you know what I'm saying, all these contrib different contributors. You know, people say, you know, Jack, Lyon, can't, Jack Campbell can't, can't be used as a rusher. He got sacked today. You gave him some plays there. Derek Burns got a sack today. Charles Harris with a sack. Aiden Hutchinson with two sacks. You know what I'm saying? And Lee McNeil, man, with the interior pressure, man. That, yes. That's what you want to see, man. He had a beautiful uh, rush on. Nearly had a sack in his own right on Desmond River. Desmond River looked like a, a, a legitimate rookie today. And I think that's the part of it that I'm most impressed with Brian Branch, man, coming in. I know Jerry Jacobs got some penalties that came his way, but Jerry Jacobs still shows you he's a player. And I think that's um, the beautiful thing we can take. But this is a domination, man. You just got to call it what you see. It. It, it, domination now always got to be 37 to 6, you know, or 70 points to freaking whatever. Uh, we ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right quick, man. That, I mean, you, you NFL, you give up, uh, you, you NFL team, you give up 70 points, bro. You give oh, up yeah. 70 points. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, mad. Uh, never should be saying to themselves, but you know, that's their problem, <laughs> yeah. But go ahead, no man. Uh, oh, this is the big part, you know. Happy, uh, for all those people who killed me last week because I was calling out points of the game, 
I was really just defending the one person that we got to defend because all you motherfuckers out there that constantly, constantly attack Aaron Glenn. Every single chance you get, you are attacking this man. This man needs to be fired. He needs to be fired this. He don't do this. He don't do that. He has been doing everything he could for what he was getting for. That was the whole part of my rants last week. It was based off how he doesn't get enough support and he don't get enough appreciation for what he do. Now, y'all killed this man going against a team that you knew you had to, that was going to come in and test you and punch you in the mouth that knows how we play. And then, as soon as this hot team come in, this red hot Atlanta team come in, what did he do? He held them down with six points. He made them make mistakes. He took their run game. Did, so, this B. John Robinson only had three some yards per carry. You outran them today. You outpassed them today. Okay? You stopped the run. We were told, slow down, B. John, and freaking uh, don't let Kyle Pitts and the boys hit you. They did both. They stopped B. John. And they held the uh, Kyle Pitts off. And that's with injuries. And you know who's the man that did that? Your defensive coordinator. The one that you want to fire. I hope in that locker room celebration he's getting the game ball today. Because this fan base kills me. Ben Johnson can go out there and call straight garbage. But y'all attack this man though. Because mm-hmm. all you look at is the points. Damn it. Leave this man alone. Leave this man alone. Because he brought it today. He tried to last week. Your players wouldn't execute. This is what happens when you go out there and execute. Absolutely. Absolutely. You go out there and execute. You go out there and play to win the game. And the Lions defensive line got pressure on Ritter. Yep. You come up with your seven sacks in the game. You had at least about four or five in the first half. Yep. You know, and you These turn three, around, three, you three, did it. Right. You turn around, and this is what we was looking for last week against Seattle. This is what we yep. were supposed to look for last week against Seattle. Yep. Now we've come and out. We hold a team. Uh, hold a team, Atlanta. It's a young team, up and coming team, holding the six points. Six points. No touchdown. Multiple with no touchdown. The red zone, they come yeah. away with no touchdown. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's even and that's even with the help of the interception. They put them in the red zone. They still came away with only three. They had to settle. Yeah. They were yeah. they were they were not even confident in t- going for it on fourth down because they had to gamble on they didn't want to lose the opportunity for the all sack hit. And speaking of fourth down, speaking of fourth down Dan Campbell, Dan he Campbell. did not go did not all in on the fourth down in. today. Take the point. Has to. Up the, the points. Up the ball. You yep, didn't you have to. <laughs> yeah. Don't put your defense. Don't, don't put your defense, defense out there. Defense out there. They got to go out there and make another stop. Make stop. On short field. On short field. So nice defense. That nice defense. They did what they did supposed, what to do. They're supposed to do. Yep. Sir. Yes, you know. We you know, could have had, you know, Tracy Walker. You know, Tracy he, Walker two of them. Two of them. He could have two interceptions today. Oh, boy. Oh, but you know, boy, what, you know what, though? Lions defense, Lions defense stepped up stepped today. Up. And yes. they dominated. They Speaking dominated. of domination, domination. I'm going to say this, I'm man. This man, man deserve a game ball. Deserve a game ball. Brian Branch. Brian Branch. Yes, Brian Branch. Yes. Ryan Brown deserved a game ball today. Yes. The man was all over the field. All over the field today. This is one of the reasons why we drafted him. The type of player he is. He's a dog. He fits this culture. Yep. He was everywhere. And you know putting everything in front of him while he has said he only going to make it better for him. Yep. Like I said, his Absolutely. floor, and, I, and I'm a huge Quandre Diggs guy, but I told you, his floor may already be Quandre Diggs. His ceiling could be Ronnie Lott. You know what I'm saying? His ceiling could be somebody like Ronnie Lott or even somebody better than that. But his floor, just being able to move in multiple positions, play nickel, and then play safety and go inside and just pop you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of Quandre Diggs levels right there. You know what I'm saying? 
That, no, that, 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 I go even a little longer. One, I go even further. That's almost like Ken Chastler. Yeah. Ken Chastler. Yeah. 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 We this is a team we need to see. We 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 saw how this team could have won last year, and we saw the difference this week. Y'all understand something? We're just called now. What happens in the game? We all here again. I'm gonna repeat myself. We all believe the Lions are still gonna have a chance to win this division, and we still all believe that the Lions team is gonna win ten more games. What happened last week was us calling out things we saw. This is what we do as content creators. You can't get your feelings in the hall as well because somebody criticizes your team. EGM. It's just, you can't do it. But what we need right now is consistency. That's what we need. And we and the second thing we need is to get help. Because that whole line took another hit. I don't know what else will happen. You know, you had to bring in Dan Skipper. Uh, Kobe came in the game. Kobe played well today. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he, did. yes he did. He played well, he played well today. Well today. Man. So, Novus, man, so who is so you say Aaron Glenn is, so you should get the game ball today for the defense. Yeah. Aaron Glenn solely should get that game ball. Yeah. You know what? You I, think, I think the whole entire defense. I think the whole entire defense. I take this back. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think the whole yeah, entire yeah. defense should get the game ball. But I think I think Brian Brace deserves his, 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 his own game ball. Yeah. yeah. But it ain't just him, so you gotta get some love to Lean Neal too. Like I said, that interior, what no, he was doing out there, that, that, that defensive interior, man, keeping B. John at bay, you know what I'm saying? They they, they had to run away they from him. Yes, and, and yes. even then, they still had to go away. Uh, Charles Harris played a little bit better today. Um, you know, I'm still not the biggest Charles Harris guy. You know who I want to give a shout-out to? You know, I, I hate, and I know Dan Campbell had to go through for the challenge flag. He probably should have looked at that review better. But I'm not mad at him for it. But you gotta give a little shout out to Romeo on that play because I think him making jumping up, making yeah. that batted ball yeah. like that, that that helped kind of put them a little bit back. And then we was able to get off the field on third down. He kind of helped set that up, man. Like you know, making it two seconds, you no know, seventeen, and you know, just knocking that ball down. That was such a big thing. Uh, I'm glad that he was able to make some kind of play. Y'all just got to give a sack in order to make a play. Uh, but the, the moves Aiden was putting on that tackle today, you know, his spin move with that ropes going back inside and just taking them out, like, oh, man, that was filthy uh, on that, that big drive. <laughs> they still kind of came back off field, but oh, that was just good, man. He had him to a field goal. But Lions, for the most part, played complimentary football, but that big run that uh, Jameer Gibbs had, too, where he kind of – Broke the tackle and then ran for like another 10, 12, 14 towards the end. And so, which was a beautiful fake by Jared Goff for that rushing touchdown. I got to give him his kudos on that. He picked that one. That was some yeah. L.A. Rams yeah. stuff there. Yeah. That was a that that was was good was play a, call. Good play call. Yeah. And then the, the part when you looked at that play, it, it fooled Calais Campbell. Yeah. Because Calais Campbell is, 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 going, is going for that uh, – for Gibbs, yeah. and then yeah. Jared Goff Jared held on to it. On. That was a, that was that a great was play a, call by Ben Johnson on that Johnson. situation. And, and, it, and it's funny, a guy that almost could have signed here, and then you come here and play us, and you be right there on one of the biggest moments of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. They kept going to him, too. Now, Clarence Campbell was like this close to being here. He was this close to being here, bro. And as a free agent, and he we missed out and he went to Atlanta, which I, I again, okay, it's Atlanta. Went over there and this happened. You know, the, I I know he was like, damn, he was here on his face. You know, uh, St. Brown, you know what? The thing is, offensively, too, the Lions got the ball to the right guys at times, they targeted the right players. I, I think that's some background noise, dude. I think that's you. Oh, okay. Uh, but real, I'm going to say this real quick. Uh, yeah, man, the Lions got reported deep today. Uh, St. Brown was the engineer, as we said he needs to be. Uh, he was going off. Um, obviously, you know, uh, they couldn't get to their guys on offense as much as they would have liked to. 
But, you know what I'm saying, they, they did make the emphasis on those three players. You know, the three most productive players were Gibbs, technically the tight end, and, you know, uh, I'm going to say Brown, so you got to scoot your hat to them on that, man. What a beautiful, I got to say, man, what a, be- a nice throw, uh, wide open. Jared Goff threw down there to the court from the touchdown, too. I thought that was dope, so. That was uh, a beautiful play, play at Definitely. So, absolutely, so, man. Absolutely, the Lions, man. The Lions, Lions offense. Lions offense. They play pretty well. Play pretty well. Uh, like I said, um, the, third, the see, second half, man, half, man, I think they, they, got, got, to they got to relax. Yeah. It's to the point that the Lions, you're going to you gonna have to. You got to, you got you got to get the, you, you can't get, get the offense moving a little bit more. You cannot yeah, have these stagnant, stagnant play calls. Come on. You know, and keep getting these three and outs and turning the ball over. Yeah. You know, and you know, the penalties, the, man. They, the got, penalties. The, 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 they the have day. got on both sides of the ball. They have got to get to the fundamentals. They got to get these guys on. And, and I'm going to say this the the, 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 the office of the, uh, the, uh, the, the penalty, the, the especially the water calls. You had two of them on Panay Sewer today. And that's so yeah, that's that's unusual, that's unusual for him. You know what it is, too, I think, with him, though? I feel like, not making an excuse for him, but I feel like, too, uh, it's probably still weird just to him packing and go back to left tackle again. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's going to play. I don't think he's at the stage of his career yet where he's going to play perfect going back to left because he's so used to playing on the right. Because remember, like, two years ago, he got drafted. You no, know, he practiced the whole offseason at right tackle. So that was probably a weird adjustment for him then, jumping out to left tackle at the last minute because that was hurt. And then, you know, now he has to do it again after starting off the last couple years at right. So this is probably the motions and him understanding how he has to probably line up and do his foot. No, I'm not saying that, like, it's hard. But it's just sometimes I think that's what it is. Sometimes the lineman has to move and play a different position. Constantly, they, they have to get just to rhythm. And I think that's what's helped causing it. Or he could have just got beat, you know what I'm saying? And he probably made a mistake and had a mental lapse at the end of that. Because we know one thing about school. The whole time last year, you barely noticed him making a mistake. And even when the exactly. game, the first exactly. game, he barely, it was like, as soon as he went back to the left, it's like he had some miscues. I think, uh, you, I think he, I think he has to get a whole off season to kind of master both sides. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to kill him too hard. It, at the very least, we only gave up one sack. Uh, Jared Goss, the, the pressure that we did give up today, to me, it still wasn't the whole reason why we couldn't, you know, throw. Like I said, at times, golf was a little off target. And the receivers actually could have held on to the ball a little bit better, too, today. I'm not even going to act like they couldn't. Uh, and, and along with Tracy Walker, too, with two drop interceptions. But, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that's just what it is, man. And like we said, Ben Johnson also got to be better play calling, and he got to get the running back in space at times, man. You got to let, you no know, gives Will and Dill a little, a little bit. And I, I and I, it was one play in the third quarter. I want to say it was the third quarter where I just thought it was about some crazy was about to happen because the ball ricocheted off the quarter's hand because it was way too high on the throw. It tipped off his fingers, and then Gibbs had a chance to haul it in, and it looked like he had it for a second, and it would have been a first down. And I was like, oh man, it was just a drop pass. So I was a missed opportunity. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, like Lions, yeah, like Lions, Lions offense. Lions offense. I mean, we've got I mean, scored twenty, 20 points, points, but we need. We need, we need I think we need to get the offense going a little bit more. We need yeah. to. We need to. We need to have better play calling better in certain play situations. Call in certain situations. I'm, not saying, yeah. I'm not saying that. That you know it was horrible, you know, it was horrible but, yeah. it be but it could be better, especially, especially in the second half. Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep, we gotta keep the foot on the gas. Foot on the gas. Yeah. Jared Goff played well. Jared Goff played well. But he, he played well again. Well. Over yeah, I mean, he had, some, he had a couple yeah. of throws, yeah. and, yeah. and it was he overthrown. Now, no, the interception. You know what? I'm saying, like, they make him throw too much. I don't think I don't think that's fair for him to have well, to try to force well, him. Well, well, it's a it's a that defense in some cases. I don't like I don't, the only thing is I rather I don't like when they have a Jameer Gibbs. Running between the tackles too much. He's not no, the type of running back. He's not, it's gonna it's running between. You know, it's, I felt like at times in the, the game they was using him you know, to run between the tackles a little bit too much. Yeah. At times, 
And I just felt like yeah. you play, you play, you play him, play, play, play him. At his pace, his 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 type of style, right? But you know, that's what I'm saying. It's about the personnel and the play design too. Because like I said they could have put him in space more to run, and then two, they could have gave one of the best carries. Like Reynolds got a few yards today too, and some of them had a nice little carry as well. So yeah, they could have could have gave them a few carries. And reduce some of the passes that he was forcing off the throw. And then, like I said, what was hurting us, too, you got to stop the penalties offensive line. Y'all got to be better. You and Frank got Absolutely. called from Corbis one of that. So it happens, but this is a dumb team that got a lot to clean up. But you want to try to win some games. You got Green Bay, who just came back with a miraculous comeback victory today at home. We got to go to their road now and see them. And, you know, these two young teams were uh, going at it. So, you know, you don't want to go on Lambo Field making these kind of mistakes, and you already know how to be down there. So, uh, yeah. just saying, yeah. Jeepers. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So, we got two teams, it's two and one. We, you know, us Green Bay side, uh, Minnesota just took their third L, <laughs> and we, um, we, just, we go gamble, say the Bears are likely to be taking the L today, too. And oh, yeah, absolutely. Day, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Lions got a chance, if playing sloppy, we got a chance to be three and one. No short week is such a day. You should get 10 days off. Right? So hopefully you get a chance to get some guys back after this break. So we, we this only one half of our, you know, celebration. We got a day, the rest of this day to celebrate. Tomorrow, you already got to be focused on Green Bay. Because it's time to get going. We got to set the tone early while we in Lambeau Field. You want to beat them at their roll early in the season. So that way it sets it up late when we're in our crew. We have a chance with the loud crowd that was likely out there today. To, you know, real in, man. You want to win when you're going through the motions and you're being sloppy. So it makes yep. it easier when yep. you start grooming and gelling to just smooth this thing on out. You got a chance with the vision. That's the vision we want to have. You got to get healthy. You got to play smart situational football. And definitely, definitely, definitely got to stick to the fundamental. Absolutely. So we're going to so we'll finish off with the Grays, uh, Daryl. Uh, What's your grade for the the defense? What's your grade for Aaron Glenn? What's your grade for the offensive line play? What's your grade for Jared Goff? What's your grade just overall? What was your grades? Uh, uh, I'm gonna get an all grade for the defense. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him an uh, A minus. Okay, I'm gonna give him an A minus. That's a clue with Aaron Glenn. Okay. It's a clue to win. Well, Aaron, Aaron Glenn himself, to me personally, get an A plus. Uh, <laughs> I think personally, well, yeah. get an A plus. Well, yeah. but, but the whole defense as a whole get an A minus. Yeah, A yeah. minus. Yeah. Uh, uh, offensive line. Uh, offensive line. I'm, gonna I'm, a, gonna I'm gonna give him a B. I'm gonna give him a B, B. Give him a B. Give him a because yeah. of the because, because of the, 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 the penalties. I had to yeah, deal with that. I know it ties that Atlanta was. They was. They was get they get getting, getting to Jared Goff, and there was a lot of times Jared Goff is getting hit, even though he, they only gave him one sack. But Jared Goff can't be taking that many hits like that. No, so Lions, I'm a, I'm a, off this a lot. I'm gonna give him a B. Jared Goff, I'm gonna give him an A minus. I'm gonna give him an A minus. Because the simple because fact, the simple he played, fact, even though like, I know the you know, interception he threw, he overthrew. And listen, listen, I'm giving him an A minus. I'm giving him an A minus. Because the simple fact, Jared Goff has been playing well. Jared Goff, Jared Goff, I, know Goff, 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 well. Jared Goff I know, I know he made a couple of throws that he missed out. But it was some throws that Jared Goff made. That, that especially, especially the wide the open with the Sam LaCorda one that was huge. It was some throws was some that Jared Goff made, Goff made before the receiver before make the receiver a cut on the route. The ball was already ball out. Was already so, so, so I'm gonna give Jared I'm Goff an A minus. I was kind of gonna go with a B, but I'm gonna give him an A minus because he did make up for the interception. He did get a rushing touchdown on that good play calling that Ben Johnson brought up. So, 
I give it an A. I'm giving it an A minus. And far as the whole team overall, a B plus. Okay, I'm right there with you. B plus for the team. B plus overall team. But this too, this too. We got to clean up the, the self-inflicted felonies. Yeah. We got to clean that up. We got a big got divisional, a game divisional game, game. Yes. on Thursday. On so Thursday. we got to so take care of business. If we could be take care of business, don't make self-inflicted self felonies and turnovers. We could go back to Lambo like we did last year and beat them. I don't care if it is Aaron Rodgers there or you care who it is. You know, we gotta go out gotta there. Go out there. Let's, take Let's take control of this NFC North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I agree with that, but uh, like I said, I give the team a B plus overall. Um, Aaron, like I said, the person that gets the game ball that we both agree, Aaron Glenn, hands down. Uh, he's the one that gets the game ball, definitely. So. Um, yeah, my final thoughts is like you said, man, you gotta, you gotta stick to your fundamentals, you gotta play set the football, you gotta keep doing your best to run the ball, play defense, and, and you got a shot to win some games. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm gonna give the Lions a shot every game. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna call out and be critical when I have to be, and I'm gonna be fair and, and you know, straight up when I gotta be as well, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I love the Lions, I love what we could do. The season, like I said last week, it wasn't over. I just had some concerns that was rightfully justified, and I also was called out what happened in the game. So, you know, I want to hear about, I told y'all it was just week two, or just, just no, just, just no, it was fair criticism. You guys get out there emotions. You know? like I said, had we lost this game, y'all would have be been mad, and everybody else would have be been mad, and y'all be angry for us calling it out. So, we taking this win, but it's a short-lived celebration. We got a bigger game to worry about now with Green Bay. Every game is going to be bigger than the last one from here on out. You know what I'm saying? We are trying to prove ourselves. The lights have been put on us. Now it's time. You know, we we under man. You know what I'm saying? So now it's time to put that, that, that nail on the coffin and just keep them going. Let's be robbing it. Let's, let's go for it. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to, to win some more games. And, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully we can. But that being said, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all like anything we had to say, man, uh, please not only drop us a like and share this video. Also, man, be kind enough to hit that subscribe button for your boys and that notification bell. No, so that way you know you're not get notified when we doing this. If y'all ever want to come beat me up about it, you got the notification bell when I go live or when I put out a video. Y'all can come in and tap me. You know what I'm saying? And, and take Daryl's side on it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, make sure y'all hit that notification bell for DPU up your SP. Shout out to our boy. Uh, Reed, man, he was at the game. Oh, you see the ticket holder, so had a little photo with uh Jason Hansen, man. He probably gonna post it on the social media site, so y'all look out for that. And shout out to our boy, all 16, uh, who really yeah. put last minute could not be on this show, uh, this uh, video with us today, but he uh will come probably around the near future, though. So, um, you already know who going is uh, our biggest supporter. So, that being said, Daryl, in last minute. Green Bay, Green Bay, you're on the clock, you're on the clock. against us. Against us. That's, all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Green that Bay, you're said, in trouble. This is DC1. I'm Norman Jay, a D3O3SP, and we signing out. Deuces. Peace. Peace. Peace.